Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft map, Boyd Hero. Today, we are going to go ahead and, first of all, like always, add somebody to the uh, comment garden. And it's raining. Of course it's raining. I think it's just about nighttime. I might be able to get a nap. <laughs> rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. We freaking did it. Alright, so first we are going to add Larry Man. And I'm adding Larry Man because they are always in the live streams dropping very helpful hints and tips and stuff. So much appreciated to Larry Man and he drops comments on a lot of the videos. So welcome to the comment garden there, Larry Man. Today, we actually have no new member to add. But uh, if you would like to become a member, it's only 99 cents to do so, and that helps support the channel a bunch, but it also gets you a bunch of cool perks. You get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server, and very soon 1.21 is coming out, and we will be jumping into Season 3 of that server. Brand new world, brand new stuff, so it's very exciting. Definitely check that out if you are interested. I don't know if I mentioned, it is a cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. So whether you're Bedrock, Java, and uh, it's dedicated so you can join whenever you want or with me when I stream it, probably Fridays. And we actually have a date on the update. It's June 13th. We're finally, we finally have the date. So heck yeah, it's very exciting stuff. So first of all today, what I want to do, because my armor is looking a little beat, I'm going to repair it up. At least my boots and my pants. If I get up enough levels, I would like to re-enchant this, but uh, at the moment we're a little low on levels and I just wasted some doing that. Not really wasted, but you know, you know what I mean. So anyways, the plan for today, I should probably let you in on the plan. I have been informed that deep fragments should be the way to get the ancient city uh, fragment. So today we are going to go ahead and throw these seven deep fragments. And we're going to see if I can get myself an ancient city fragment. So let's uh, let's go ahead and try this out. God dang it, slimes, we don't want you here. Frig off. There's just too many slimes. Why is every every series I have now full of slimes? You hate to see it. Uh, I don't know about the pillagers spawning in, so I might just kind of light this up a little bit because it doesn't seem like we're having any luck with that. We're just having slimes. I don't know why the pillagers aren't spawning in. I feel like they should be by now at this point in the game. You know what I mean? Ooh, also, I should check for more blocks. I should have a lot in the... I've been AFK, so I should have a lot in the bamboo farm here. A decent bit. A decent bit. Alrighty, so we're uh, blocked up. We got bamboo. I actually had a bunch of oak, too, so we're going to go ahead and take that with me just in case I need to use any blocks over here. We're like in very specific places where this will actually spawn so if we have a spot where it spawns I'm gonna go ahead and just keep throwing them there seems to be the best method to me it sort of seemed like down here we had a good area so I think we might as well just stick with that like right about here they appear to spawn in pretty well so oh fudge goodbye yeah so we have this weird block that showed up I don't know what that actually is but it's kinda weird so we're gonna go ahead Oh, that's not good. And we're just going to throw this here and see what happens. Nice. I don't like that. Please stop doing that. Oh, good God. I need to break this. We really don't need any wardens right now. Okay, are we good? Are we safe? <laughs> it's so sketchy every time that happens. But if there's like any chests that appear anywhere, that's uh, definitely handy. Can you stop? You are very spooky. Actually, this is a pretty good way to get levels. There's not a good way to mine this, I think. I think pickaxe is probably your best bet. But yeah, that's actually a decent level grabber right there. Ooh, how'd we get a diamond block right there? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. We're getting that sp spooky music coming through because of, uh, you know, the good old... What the heck? Why is that one different? I always wondered, why are these... What are, what are these ones even? What do they even do? I'm just going to try and clear out a lot of this. Oh, frig. God damn. Well, that helps me clear it out, doesn't it? Uh, I kind of want to clear out a lot of this and maybe try on a flat surface here. See if we can get something. We got to get something here. A chest or, or whatever. A chest or, or whatever. We've gotten a chest before. We just didn't get necessarily what we needed out of that chest. Let's kind of flatten this out a little bit. That might be a good way to go about it. Alright, and let's go ahead and try another. Why the frig not? 
We have more more deep dark. We're getting some good resources like Lapis and we had a couple diamonds there a second ago. But we're just not quite getting the ancient the ancientness. I just heard a creeper fall from somewhere. I don't I don't like that. Ooh, diamond. Of course you would have lava under my diamonds. Why would you do such a thing? Am I using I should be using fortune, I think, right? There we go. Decent bit of diamonds. Twelve diamonds just from like those two little veins. That's pretty good. Alright, so let's just uh let's just keep throwing until we get something good. Another one. Oh, one of these. Uh these these ones are weird. They kind of fudge up the world a bit. We've kind of built out like a decent platform here though. Things are kinda kinda good here. And another. Ooh, that one kind of went flying. Why did that one go flying? Get more diamonds. That's always good. That's always handy. Oop, that was a close one. Gotta make sure you put a block under your diamonds there. Don't want the lava under your diamonds. I am actually throwing the right fragment, right? It was the, uh, yeah, it should be the deep fragment because that was giving us deep dark areas. Here we got one of these iron rich ones. Don't know if I need much more iron, to be honest. I'm kind of set on that. As I just keep mining it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, it's just hard to waste resources. You know what I mean? Let's go for another. Oh, there we go. That's what we were looking for. Except for... We don't want a warden to spawn. We really don't want that. Where is the block? I don't like the darkness. If it's uppies or if it's down. We get the fragment back at least. Oh, I see one thing. Get rid of this. Can we get rid of this? Fudge. Fudge. It's so bad. You hate to see it. But this is, like I said, it's so nice. There's so many levels to get here. And uh, even diamonds. There we go. There's the friggin' thing. Get out of here. You dingus. Oh no. Oh no, why did it just do that? Oh, frig, 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 frig. Please no, please no. Oh, you dumb idiots. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you're doing this. I just, I can't see what's happening. Am I dead? <laughs> God dang it. That's so bad. It's always the risk though, isn't it? He'll despawn after a while, won't he? All right, I don't hear any more spooky noises, so I think we might be safe. I kind of have a little bit of an idea here though to kind of clear up some space so we can keep throwing these fragments. Just you wait. Just you wait and see. Greatest idea I've ever had. We have a lot of TNT, don't we? Oh no, he's still over there. I just heard him. Sounded like he was gone, but nope, he's over there. God dang it, why will he not leave? I thought they just despawned after a while, didn't they? All right, well, we're gonna try this out anyway. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this works out okay for me. I have bad feeling about this. He knows where I'm at. He, kn he's, he knows where I'm at. Let's, uh, let's drop this on his head, maybe. So spooky. Ooh, I blew up some diamonds. All right, let's try another one. I kind of just want to get rid of some... Nope, you absolute buffoon. Let me get the diamond. Frig, I think I missed the diamond. <laughs> this is so bad. If I go far away, he'll despawn, right? Anyways, I've been working on my double path here, and I've actually... I'm actually nearly there. So I'm just going to do that, and hopefully we'll get far enough away, and that warden will just despawn. There we go. We have a nice double path now, so I can run and not be a dingus and just fall off into the void. Also, earlier while I was out here, I was grabbing these uh, graves that I just threw off randomly. You know, worst case, Ontario, we can come out here on this path, and we could just try some more deep dark out here. It's like I've thrown some cave stuff here, so... Actually, let's, let's give that a try. I'm kind of curious to see if it'll work out here. So it wasn't working the best over where we were at. All right, so let's uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try this. Ooh, we did get some uh, some deep, some deep dark, some uh, cobbled deep slate. I think we have a new zone where we can try this out, but we do want to be careful of lava and stuff. I'm not even gonna bother getting the redstone and like lapis anymore, cause honestly, I kind of have more of it than I can even know what to do with. Diamonds, however. Are pretty good very nice four diamonds that's pretty sick from just one one mineage I made a mistake using wood over top of lava didn't I yeah that's definitely not the best idea <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it we do have more diamonds 
I'm actually gonna kind of be diamond rich after this. I'm not even gonna like need need for diamonds anymore, really. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck? Yo, have we gotten one of these before? I don't know that we have. Come on, come on. Why why will it not there we go. There we go. Yeah, we must not have gotten one of these before. I just got a new new recipe. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool actually. Alright, so I kinda wanna keep those safe there, because that'll keep growing me more more uh, amethyst. So if we keep that those couple things there, that should be pretty good. I actually think your best method, isn't it to like clear out all the sides? Cause then it has like all around it the opportunity to grow more amethyst. Something like that, I think. All right, so I'm gonna expand out a little bit this way just so we can get clear of the amethyst. We'll leave that to grow, you know. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool resource. We can we can always maybe build something out of that. We'll see, we'll see. All right, that ought to be good. Let's um, build up a little spot like that, and let's try another. Fudge, what did it just what did it just spawn me into? Ooh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. This is exactly what I was looking for. We finally gotten it. Will it have? Deep Fragment, Malice Fragment, Potion of Regeneration, Soul Torches, Stronghold Fragment, which we already have, a lot of coal, some uh, Skulk Sensors, but we didn't, we didn't get what we needed, really. Is it just going to be the luck of the draw? Do we just have to keep doing this until we get the chest that has the Ancient City Fragment? Maybe that will be the case. Maybe we just got to keep trying. Alright, so let's go for another one. Why not? Why wouldn't we? Ooh, frig. Did it, do, it did another one of the geodes. Kind of crazy. So we got we got plenty of opportunity for amethyst if we want it. I love the sound it makes when you walk on it. It just sounds so nice. I'm going to build off this way a little bit. We're just going to kind of keep building offshoots to uh, keep throwing these fragments and hope for something good. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. That's not what we want. Please go away. Fudge! Fudge! I must go! <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. There's nobody home. Nobody's here. Okay, let's go back to the other area where we were throwing fragments, and maybe we'll be safer over there. That's a good idea, though. If we have one area over there that's kind of far away, and one area... He's up top. Oh, he's up top. He doesn't have access to me, does he? he there's no way he can get all the way over. Right? He's kind of stuck on that little island. I think we're good. I think he's stuck on the island. I'm just gonna have a nap about it. It's just a bad dream, you know. Nothing, uh, nothing really happened. It's all just a bad dream. We're just gonna sleep it off. Good night, Mr. Warden. All right, so yeah, like I said, now we can kind of head over to here, and this guy should be gone, and we'll throw some over here, and then when this guy shows back up, we'll head back over there, and we'll just keep repeating the process until hopefully we get something good. And my other method, I had two to clear some area out. We're gonna try that out. You know, because we don't need all of this, uh, all of this here, right? So let's go ahead and do one of these maneuvers. Back up, back up. Kaboom. Clear out a little bit of space. Whoa, fudge, that's not what I wanted. I saw diamonds and I was, I was getting greedy. There's a lesson to be learned here. Don't get greedy or you'll jump off into the void. Yeah, like I said, I don't know why I'm still going for diamonds anyway. So I'm not really, uh... Stop! Please stop! No, please stop! Holy frig! I can't believe we've just done this. I can't believe I've just done this. Not again. Please no. Oh, he's gonna blast me off of here. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. There's no need to blast me. I gotta go. My people need me. Please no. I need to see some daylight, please. There's, there's, day, there should be daylight here. Okay, we're good. We're, we're safe. <laughs> okay, maybe we do go back to that other area. This we need to clear out though. We need to not have this here. Wherever the, uh, wherever the one that actually summons him is, we need to get rid of that. All right, so we got a little bit lucky with this spot here. We got the uh, chest here, so let's go ahead and throw another one here. Maybe we'll get lucky again. Maybe not. More amethyst. Getting a buttload of amethyst now all of a sudden. That's kind of bad though. It may have lost me my uh, my fragment. I'm not even worried about breaking the amethyst anymore at this point because oh I got my fragment back. Yeah, we're actually we're getting a whole lot of it, so 
not really the biggest deal, you know what I mean? Come on. Yes, there we go. That's what we wanted. We have a chest. Please be good. Please be freaking good. It's so much risk just for <laughs> just for a chest, man. That's all we're going for. We just want a chest that's going to give me the ancient city fragment. Or at least even just the shard or something so I can maybe make some Eye of Enders. We got protection for diamond pants. Fire protection, iron pants. Protection, mending, and all. Oh, dude, those are the best freaking pants you can get. And... We got the ancient fragment. Finally. We finally freaking did it, dude. Uh, y equals negative 50 to get that one. Oh, I'm so pumped. I'm so freaking pumped. God dang it. Now we can finally get like the echo shards and we can do the stuff. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen for me. I was kind of getting to the point where I was like, ah, oh, man, what am I going to do? It's not going to happen. So happy. And a uh, disc fragment for the music disc. Okay. Swift sneak. Maybe we should throw that on some pants. I do have the ultimate pair of pants here now. If I netherite this, can I then combine it with this? Well, I actually, I don't even need to do that, do I? I can just netherite this and just have a really good pair of pants. So pumped. We're getting a freaking ancient city today. We're going to go offload some inventory so that way we have room for stuff that we're going to get. Uh, we need to be Y negative 50. So we do need to go down a little bit. We need probably need a big area to do this. Like I'm thinking maybe, hmm, because we did build out kind of far that way. Maybe we go out that way to that uh, end island. And then from there we go like down and try and do it over there. Sounds like a good idea to me. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing's ever gone wrong. Okay, we got two music disc fragments. What do you need? Four of them? Is that what it is? We need more prismarine too, so I do need to figure that out. All right, so let's go netherite these pants. We got some fancy... Oh, wait, do I not have a template? Oh, I can, I can recreate it, right? Yeah, I got plenty of diamonds, so we're good. We're good on that. I just need a little bit of nether rack. Yeah, there we go. We can recreate that. And we can use one of those. We'll use one of them with the pants and that. And we have really good pants. The best pants you've ever seen. I only wear the best pants. Uh, so what kind of smithing template did we put on it or should we put on it? We have more of these. Let's grab one of these and a bit of gold. And let's try that out. Bam, and yeah, that's the same one we had on this, so. Snout armor trim, gold material, protection for mending, unbreaking. Dude. And then we got a backup pair of pants, too. We'll throw those on in here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw the swift sneak on them, too. I think that could be handy for the ancient city, right? So now we should, I don't know what that level is going to help with. I mean, it's, it's a little faster, right? It's only level one. I don't know what level you can get up to, but yeah, it's definitely faster. Not by much, but it's it's something, you know, it should be helpful. All right, so I think we have everything. We have blocks, we have water bucket, so we should be able to get down to negative uh, 50. It's not that far, and like I said, we'll just head right over to here. So this is great, man. We're actually going to be able to, I think, finish this series, because I was, I was at that point where I was like, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it. The way things are going... It's not looking good. We're not getting the things that we need, but now we finally have the things that we need. That's odd to see a, a slime spawning in on an end island. That just doesn't seem right now, does it? Let's see, how deep can we dig here? We're at 38. Oh, that's just the void right there. That's not good. Kind of just curious how far we can dig down just right here. I need to repair my pickaxe also. That probably would have been a good thing to do, wouldn't it? All right, so it looks like that's about as far as we can go. We're at uh, 41, so we're gonna gonna be a little bit sketchy, but there's not really much to lose because, like I said, we're keep inventory. The map creator was super nice, so we're gonna go ahead and like put a water bucket down right here. I think we'll swim down, and we'll. Uh, am I sneaking? I kind of don't want to be sneaking. We'll kind of start staircasing a little bit more. Oh, fudge. Yeah, I think I... No, I, I, I can't tell if I was sneaking or not. It's hard to tell. We need to get out and put another one. Oh, fudge. I need more blocks. All right, but that's kind of the basic method. So I'm just going to keep repeating that until I get down to where I need to be. Fudge, of course. It had to happen. I couldn't have... 
<laughs> There's no way I can do it without falling into the void. You know, since we're back home, I'm going to do a couple things here. Because uh, I might as well. So first, we're going to make another smithing template. Uh, we're going to go ahead... And we're going to repair this up while it's just diamonds that it costs. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to netherite my pickaxe. It's repaired and netherite it up, so we're, we're chilling with that now. So yeah, it should have more durability now, and it's, like I said, it's fully repaired. We just use diamonds to do that, so it's a little bit cheaper. Not like we're having a shortage on netherite anyway. I get them from my death fragments, which is pretty crazy. And back we go. These slimes, man. Any little spot they can find to freaking spawn in, they're going for it. And then they fall into the void like dinguses. That's what they get. The slime infestation. Negative uh, 49. Okay, we need to go down a little bit more. Just like one more block. And that should be 50. Right here. Okay, cool. So now let's, uh, let's go ahead and build a bit of a pathway out and we'll throw it. I'm nervous about these because, like, these ones always kind of go weird. They go flying off into the void. And, uh, you know, sometimes they do weird stuff. So if it if it does weird stuff, I don't know what I'm going to freaking do. All right, I've used my entire stack of wood to build this pathway out. We should be plenty far enough away from everything. Uh, I say we just go ahead and throw it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It worked. It worked. Whoa. What the heck? Where did it just spawn me? There's like a lectern and... This is weird. This is very. I'm gonna fix this up a little bit. I don't wanna come in here and just immediately start uh, <laughs> breaking stuff. I think the warden might be a little mad about that. But we will uh, maybe torch this up a little bit. What the heck is this? I can't say that I've ever seen something like this. Is this like a redstone tutorial? Oh, it's like this is like a timer. That's kind of cool. Oh, what did that just do? Yo, I need to like study this. I actually need to learn more redstone. I'm about to try and build factories in the next season of the Minecraft SMP. And so like I need to really up myself on... Oh, no. Really get myself up on redstone. That was sketchy. Like I said, we need to torch this up like crazy. We don't want this monument of redstone being destroyed. At least I'm in like a safe spot. It just spawned me in the safest possible spot where there's just a redstone tutorial. I should have brought more torches. Oh, so this is showing that um, glass does not transmit a redstone signal. But you can transmit a redstone signal. I knew that you could do it from a block. That's pretty cool. Oh. It appears that uh, there's a doorway into here. Did I cl cause that to close by what I've done? What the fudge? Where did you just come from? Please do not destroy redstone. Okay, if I open... Okay, that opens the door? Huh, interesting. This too, I, I really enjoy the uh, redstone doors and stuff, like hidden doors. I kind of want to mess with more of that. So I'm definitely going to have to be pretty careful in here. There's a lot of holes in the ground. This is nice, though. Like, it's open to the sky, so, like, it's actually pretty bright out here. As long as I... As long as it stays daytime, we're actually kind of pretty safe in here, it seems like. Or at least it feels like. <laughs> you know, the warden spawns in, and I'm pretty much frigged anyway, so... Yeah, we got this whole big place to explore. Hopefully we got some good stuff. That's what I'm hoping. We want to avoid tripping off the warden. The heck? Oh, here we go. Here's the fudge. <laughs> that kind of scared me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I can kind of run around in here a little bit. It feels pretty safe at the moment. I'm not seeing any uh, catalyst thingy madongers. So we have... How did I end up falling? There's a hole right there. We have the portal. I wish they would do something with this portal. If they don't in the future do something with this like portal, definitely a big missed opportunity. They need to they need to explore that farther. Alrighty, so I guess we could head right on into the brunt of this thing. 
There's that over there. Is that where you get your chest? You need to kind of fill in some holes. I really, I just walked past that. I could have fallen into the void. Don't want that. See, I'm improving this place, Warden. You don't need to be mad at me when I'm actually making this place better. Okay, this is what we're looking for. I need to break these so that way I can get into the chest. Is that one going to spawn him too? I don't know if that one actually does. When you get into the chest without having problems. Curse of Vanishing, not important. Uh, enchanting bottles, pretty important. Soul Torch is pretty good. Light the place up. Regeneration, that's decent. Yeah, who would want Curse of Vanishing book? What are you going to put that on? That's weird how there's just a staircase into nothing. Disc fragments. Iron leggings. Uh, deep fragment. Music disc cat. Oh, a cat's a pretty good one. Enchanted gapple, some of this stuff. Maybe I'll take a lead. That could be handy for something, right? But what we don't have is whatever it's called. Fudge. Why am I drawing a blank? The doohicker. The thing that we need to make... We need a thing to make Eye of Enders. What the heck was it called? Echo Shard? Is that what it is? I believe it's an Echo Shard. So I'm really hoping one of these chests is going to have the Echo Shard for me. If not, I will be extremely disappointed. My disappointment will be immeasurable, immeasurable, and my day will be ruined. Here we go. A little bit of a doohicker over here. Stop, stop, please stop. There's a lot of them. There's three of them. Fudge, 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 fudge. Why are you doing this? God dang it, I shouldn't have gone in here. I need to break these. S damn slime! <laughs> Slimes ruin everything! Did we get the advancement? I didn't even notice uh, if we actually got the advancement for this. Great in Ancient City. Okay, yeah, we got it. So now we can kind of see like how big this thing actually is. kind of crazy. It's pretty large. Should be plenty to explore. I'm, I'm just hoping... That we're actually going to get those echo shards. But there is a lot to check out there, so we have we have a good chance, I think. I just got to be careful not to spawn in more wardens. I am... There should be a chest down here, right? Maybe? I'm kind of wondering if I... Oh, I see more chests. Okay. We can jump on into that. We can literally just jump right in and hopefully not upset the warden. Efficiency for mending hoe. That's actually pretty good. Coal. That's pretty decent. Protection 3, Curse of Binding. Frig that. Alright, Warden is still around. I hear him seeking. He's searching for me. I think I'm far enough away from those that I can grab this without... So oh, nope. I set it off. I'm gonna grab candles. Echo shards. That's what we needed. Uh... Please stop. I'm not here. There's nobody here. There's nobody here to be angry with. Oh, fudge. I think I just fell into the void. I can even see. I was trying to make a jump to that next platform. <laughs> oh, well, we got the uh, we got the echo shards. I think that's all we actually needed. We got two of them. So now we might actually need to throw some ocean fragments to get more prismarine because I think that's our limiting factor at this point now because two of these let's see where's all my stuff for this kind of curious can we make that music disc I don't think I have enough what is is it like a, a full thing maybe it's a full thing definitely got a lot of music discs okay so we have prismarine we have ender pearls we have blaze I have some candles they're kind of cool for decoration like we can throw some candles in here into the uh, enchantment room kind of make it look kind of nice let's actually throw one there and there yeah that's nice and I think you just need to light them right yeah those are pretty cool nice little decorations I am gonna go ahead and get rid of these don't need those clogging up space and let's see we can craft eye of enders we get eight of them so yeah we do need another prismarine shard Let's go check at the portal how much progress we've made. Because I don't remember how many we had filled in. I think we only had one filled in, right? And then uh, 
We were able to get another one because we just found uh, Eye of Ender somewhere, one of the chests. So we should, yeah, we should need another Prismarine Shard. But I, like I said, I don't remember where I got that one. We may just need to throw, I think I went the wrong way. May just need to throw Ocean Fragments now at this point. So since I'm coming up on the end of my recording time, after we go do this, I think I'm going to call it a day. If I can freaking actually parkour my way up there. Uh, after this, I'll go. We'll call it a day, and between episodes, I will go ahead and try the ocean fragments, see what I can get. If I can go ahead and get enough uh, prismarine, then next episode we can be fighting the dragon. We can go to the end. This map has me very curious. If you actually do go to the end, though, or if is it going to spawn the dragon just in the overworld, or is it going to spawn the end in the overworld? Because portals have not worked out for me. You know, we went to the Nether, but. Uh, that portal didn't actually take us to the nether, it just gave us fragments, so... Are we gonna fill in this portal and it's gonna be like, Here's an ender dragon fragment. Go ahead and spawn them in your world if you want. And bad things might happen. Okay, so yeah, we did have two. So now... Bing, bong, bing. We need two more, that sucks. We have to make a full... Another batch of eight when we only need two. But, that does let me do another advancement of uh, making an ender chest. This, I don't know how we're gonna manage that. I have no idea where the pillager outpost fragment's gonna possibly come from. Yeah, we're gonna do this stuff. This is gonna be crazy. We're, we're nearly there, and I've actually almost done every single advancement. That's kind of rare for me. I, I never do that. <laughs> I never am like completionist, but on this one, it's like you kind of have to be. As you're going, you're just gonna be completing things, it seems like, until you get to the point where you can uh, do the dragon fight, you know what I mean? Alrighty, well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching another episode of the Minecraft Void Hero map. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. That helps me out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Turn on the notifications so that way you're not going to miss out on any future streams or videos. Join the Discord so you can come by and chat. And if you want to help support the channel, only 99 cents to become a member gets you a bunch of cool perks. Access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. Season 3 is starting as soon as Minecraft 1.21 comes out, and we have a date for that, June 13th. Uh, as for when I'll be streaming it, when the server will be set, not sure on that yet, but stay tuned if you want to just watch it or if you want to join. Like I said, only 99 cents, and it helps support the channel, but it also gives you access to that. Another good way to support, check out merch if you're interested, cool hats. We got cool shirts, sleeveless shirts for the summer. We've also got these. I've been drinking out of my Mead Time glass. You can pick up one of these if you want. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.